Hey guys, I wanted to have a little discussion today about is the new DLC, Curse of the Vampire, the Marvel Knights, is it too hard? Which is something we always expect because from the free DLC we got, it was demonically hard. Like we really struggled to unlock Symbiote Spider-Man, <laughs> Planet Hulk, and Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel's costumes in the free DLC. And this time they've re released a lot of content that seems vaguely easy. Nightmare mode is pretty easy. I know at the end it's going to get quite hectic because each chapter you do gets five levels harder than before, ending with a bit somewhere around level 90. So the last stage, killing Thanos and Thane, might be a little bit tricky. It might just be like doing that insane Infinity Rift, but we're going to be level 50, so we're, we already got a lot of strength amped up, and I've noticed that I'm a lot stronger, at least in my Star-Lord, where, where I used to do the, the like, you know, the kind of kill as many enemies as you can kind of stage. I used to only get like around 200, now I can push like 250 if I'm like really, you know, good and quick and stuff. So there's definitely a good increase to strength and also there's the new the new um, hexagons that you can unlock things for, but obviously you need all your heroes to be max level again, which is, oh my god. Like, that's one thing that I'm so frustrated with. I'm like, dude, I just got 100% completion, and you... <laughs> why you gotta do me like that? But I guess, I mean, you know, DLC, it, it, it's it's a reason to come back and play the game some more, you know, get to, back to my 100% completion again. It's gonna be quite challenging. The gauntlet mode, the nightmare, nightmare's gonna be quite easy. There's no new treasures in there, so you don't actually have to... Spend specifically look out for new treasures you just have to play through it and and finish it like you do with all the other you know story difficulties probably going to take about three hours or so um the gauntlet mode is oh dude the gauntlet mode is both interesting exciting and frustrating all at the same time it's interesting because it's something new different rifts over and over in some like random order well it's not random like, each one has its own set kind of rift you know like okay cool do these five different rifts and these are like the gimmicks you know your health you know burns out or you know your start out is infected blah 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 the crappy part is that every single time you want to go to the next trial there's like this one minute loading screen i swear it's like i was like i look at people on the leaderboard i'm like you've got patience man because i see level 128 but what i really see is 128 minutes <laughs> <laughs> of waiting time between each trial. <laughs> I'm like, dude, no. 128, dude, you probably you probably spent like three hours trying to do that. Like I'm like, oh my god, dude, you're you're crazy. You're crazy. And you gotta do gauntlet mode, like you gotta do it once to unlock it, and then you have to do it again. You unlock the endless mode for that gauntlet, and you basically have to do it again and repeats it as, and, until you basically die or, you know, you kind of like forfeit and give up, which you have to do at a certain point to get all your five stars for each each trial and everything. And I believe this also goes to a way to your completion. And you also use gauntlets to unlock, or uh, actually not unlock, but to receive shield tokens. And you use the shield tokens in the shield depot, which you got to buy voice packs and skins and costumes and weird random items. Anything that basically has a number you can, like, purchase. I know if you have to purchase the skins and you purchase the sound effects for, like, the, the, the voice lines that you say, goes for your counting of your um, completion, so you actually have to form a crap load of shield token points. I've actually seen some videos where some guys have been trying different types of trials in the gauntlets to find which ones actually net the most amount of shield tokens per like a five minute run basis, which is actually a really cool concept. Something I need to look into more as soon as I catch up with my gauntlet stuff. I've been working all week because I, I have a full time job and it's actually quite hectic to, to do this new DLC because what they've brought in is a lot of grinding and the thing is, I have to make videos like at a point where I've actually unlocked and done everything. So what I what I'm making videos of actually makes sense. It's not like I haven't unlocked this yet, guys. But here's my video. You know, like how the hell are you making a video on something you haven't even done yet? So I gotta I gotta work hard to to get all my progress going and, and get out there, do my gauntlets, and figure out the best way to get shield tokens. And you know, it actually gets quite hard in the gauntlet right now. I'm at the the level like 100 kind of mark there, and there's a level 120 one right after that which I've seen is actually really hard so I'm gonna need my alliance hexagons unlocked as much as I can to get those extra bonuses I'm gonna need a lot of heroes at level 150 I need to finish the story on nightmare still which doesn't particularly add anything amazing other than giving you like a bunch of shield tokens just for completing it the first time and you know the shield depot which 
just has random bunch of items to you know give you skins and voice lines and some random items like rainbow gems and crap like that where you can just farm. So very new stuff, but it's very grindy. That's my opinion. The game it it grinds up into a really hard point where you're doing gauntlets that are impossibly hard, and then the leadership uh, leaderboard kind of things where obviously it's going to be hard because you're trying to compete on the leaderboard. Obviously, you're going to have to do the things that are tremendously difficult to compete. But that's what my kind of view is on this DLC right now. I'm feeling a little burnt out just trying to keep up with it because it's just so much stuff at once. And, like, it's very repetitive. The gauntlet mode is, you know, with the... It's just... I don't know, man. I don't know. I got I to gotta level up. I got to do it. I got to put, put in the work. And I got to get it working. But it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. What are you guys doing to, to like, in what order are you doing this stuff in even? Like, what are you, what are you accomplishing first? You guys got tips for me? Let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, right now, I'm actually just trying to catch up with my gauntlet. So I'll let you guys know how that goes in future videos. Thanks for watching.